5 Ways to Come Out of Debt While debt may be necessary in some cases, such as when purchasing a car or a home, it is critical to address any other debt that is causing stress. The key is to approach debt repayment piecemeal, breaking down what you owe, finding extra funds to direct toward debt payments, and avoiding future unnecessary debt. Here are five steps to getting out of debt and staying out of debt. 1. Make a list of everything you owe. Make a thorough inventory of your debt to get a clear picture of where you stand right now. Begin by listing all your debt accounts and the amounts owed. A. Make a list of all your debts. Make a list of everything you owe, including credit card balances, personal loans, auto loans, student debt, mortgage debt, and any other debt. If you're not sure what you owe, you can get a free copy of your credit report to see all your debts, including any that are in collections. Remember that your lender will have the most recent information on your balances. B. Make a note of the payment information. Write the interest rate, minimum monthly payment, and due date next to each debt. C. Calculate your total monthly minimum payment. Add together the minimum payments for all your debts to determine the bare minimum amount you must pay each month to stay current on your debt. 2. Determine your monthly payment capacity. While making all your minimum monthly debt payments will keep your payment history in good shape, it will mean staying in debt for longer and paying more in interest. The more you can pay above the minimum each month, the faster you will be able to pay off your debt. That can be easier said than done, especially when money is scarce. Here's how to figure out how much you can afford to pay each month, as well as how to find extra cash to put toward your debt. A. Make a list of your monthly expenses. Calculate how much you spend each month on basic expenses such as groceries, your cell phone bill, utilities, gas for your car, rent or mortgage payments, and so on, using a spreadsheet or a budgeting app. For variable expenses, such as your monthly electricity bill, try taking the average over several months. B. Compare your income to your expenses. Compile your monthly net income, what you take home after taxes. Subtract your total expenses from your monthly income, including both necessary and discretionary expenses like entertainment and other non-essentials. If the amount you have left over is insufficient to help you pay off your debt, you'll need to improve your cash flow by cutting expenses or increasing your income. C. Look for ways to save money. Examine all of your expenses and think about ways to save money, such as reducing your dining out and retail purchases or negotiating your utilities and other services. D. Increase or supplement your income. Finding a side hustle, working extra shifts at work, or asking for a raise are all ways to bring in extra money to pay off your debts. 3. Lower your interest rates. When you're dealing with high interest rates, it can be difficult to pay off debt. Lowering your interest rates is a promising strategy for making debt repayment more manageable and affordable. Consider one of the following. A. Request a lower interest rate from your lender. You may be able to negotiate a lower rate with your lender for a period, or even permanently, if you have a good payment history with them and good credit. Calling your lender to request a lower interest rate costs you nothing and has no impact on your credit report or credit score. B. Consider a credit card with a balance transfer option. Transferring balances to a balance transfer card with an introductory 0% APR is one way to save interest while paying off debt. You must meet the balance transfer card issuer's requirements, which frequently include having good credit. A transfer fee of 3% or 5% of the transferred balance is also usually required. C. Consider debt consolidation. By combining multiple high-interest credit card or loan balances into one lower-interest loan, a debt consolidation loan can help you save on interest and streamline debt repayment. Reducing your interest expenses may make it easier for you to put more money toward debt repayment. 4. Implement a debt repayment strategy. You'll need a strategy for deciding which balances to pay down first. Keep in mind that your mortgage is one debt that you may not be able to pay off in a short period of time, instead, 
prioritize debt such as credit card balances and other loans that you can pay down more quickly. Consider the following debt reduction strategies. A. Handle any debts that are in collection. If you've fallen behind on payments and your debt is now in collections, make it a priority to pay it off. Bringing collection accounts up to date can help reduce their negative impact on your credit, which is a good reason to prioritize it. Furthermore, reducing debt collector calls can help alleviate some of the stress that comes with being in debt. B. Spend any extra funds on the debt with the highest interest rate. This method, known as the debt avalanche strategy, will save you the most money on interest in the long run. Make the minimum payments on all your debts, and then apply any extra funds to your highest interest debt. Then, focus on the debt with the next highest interest rate, and so on. C. Spend any extra money on the credit card or debt with the lowest balance. The debt snowball strategy is a method for quickly knocking out your smallest balances, providing quick wins and reducing the total number of accounts you have to deal with. With this method, you pay the minimum on all accounts and put any extra money toward your smallest balance until it is paid off. Then turn your attention to the account with the next smallest balance, and so on. 5. Be consistent in your approach. Getting out of debt is difficult. As you make progress toward debt repayment, remember to reward yourself and be proud of how far you've come. Make a pledge to avoid incurring any new debt that is not necessary. Be especially cautious if you intend to consolidate credit card debt with a personal loan or balance transfer card. If you aren't sure, you can resist the temptation to charge up the cards you just paid off, it's best to avoid debt consolidation. Thanks for watching, we believe you have learned something, do leave your comments below and see you in the next video.